Hi everyone, Miss Sarah here on our red trail at the Woodcock Nature Center. And there's a lot of different habitats here in the forest, uh, microhabitats, and one of them that's often overlooked is fallen logs. Um, so fallen logs are great places for a lot of smaller creatures to live. Um, and it's a great activity to get outside and look under these fallen logs and see what you can find. So let's take a look at what's under this log, see if we can find anything. And actually right here, we have a little redback salamander. So logs are great habitats for salamanders that need moist environment. Oh, what's over here? We might have a millipede. So here we have a dark morph of the redback salamander. Some people call these leadback salamanders. Um, so same species, but just a different color, coloration. Doesn't have that red brownish stripe down the back. So there's a proper way to lift over a log so that you don't hurt any of the living creatures underneath. And as you can see, I'm pulling the log towards me. That way, if anything does want to move out of the log, it's going to move away from me, not straight at me. So we pull the log towards us to make the opening away from us. And we do it slowly and gently as not to crush anything or a little salamander friend down there. And again, once you're done looking at the log, very important to put the log back just as you found it. It's kind of putting the roof back on those guys' houses so that protect protected again. Um, and logs are great to find decomposers like roly polies, um, pill bugs, worms, also centipedes and millipedes will be living under them. Um, ants, termites, beetles, spiders, all sorts of little things. Um, sometimes wood frogs. So get out, come visit the nature center or your own backyard and see what you can find under fallen logs.